Hello, how is everyone today? I'm Mrs. Suarez with a book I'd like to share with you. It's a nonfiction selection titled Animal Disguises by Emma Ryan. Did you know some animals play hide and seek? Chameleons, like this one, use camouflage to blend into their surroundings and disguise themselves. Camouflage helps keep animals safe from predators. What other animals use camouflage? Arctic hares have a thick layer of fur to keep them warm in cold temperatures. Their fur changes color from brown during the summer to bright white during the winter. The change helps them hide from predators like wolves and foxes in the ice and snow. Can you spot the hare? Barn owls can be found almost anywhere in the world. They have white, heart-shaped faces spotted chests, and light brown feathers on their backs and wings. These feathers are perfect camouflage against the barns and tree trunks where they usually live. Instead of blending in, owl butterflies' disguises make them easier to see. Owl butterflies have an animal-looking eye spot on each wing. Looking like a larger animal helps keep them safe by frightening away predators. They are mostly found in the Amazon rainforests. Did you see that leaf move? Look closely. It's actually a leaf insect. These tiny creatures live mainly in the jungles of Southeast Asia. They are well hidden, standing still, or moving, since their walk looks like a leaf blowing in the wind. The Malaysian orchid mantis might be beautiful, but can also be deadly. Looking like a flower helps the mantis catch and eat other insects by tricking them into coming closer. Its legs look like petals, and it will flatten its body out when threatened to look even more like an orchid. Can you spot the insect? The stick insect is almost impossible to see among the twigs where it lives. They can be found in tropical areas and are usually green or brown in color. Who spies on flies? Frogs. Frogs also use camouflage to hide from danger. Gray tree frogs look a lot like the tree trunks they hang out on. Green frogs can easily hide among tree leaves and swamps without being seen. Pygmy seahorses are tiny creatures that rarely grow more than one inch long. They can be different colors and found in the Pacific Ocean. Their camouflage works so well, they were only discovered after the coral they lived on was taken to an aquarium. Can you spot the seahorses? Leafy sea dragons live in the oceans off of Australia and are experts at hide and seek. They are usually yellow, green, or brown in color and are able to float among seaweed and kelp undetected. The mimic octopus could be called a secret agent of the sea. It has the ability to look like eels, sea snakes, rays, and jellyfish. Scientists think the sea creature changes its appearance depending on what type of predator it's trying to hide from. 
Stingrays are usually found in shallow water. They like to hang out on the seafloor partially buried in the sand. Their coloring and flat bodies help them hide from predators and find food like shrimp, fish, and worms without being seen. Watch out for the scorpion fish. They are carnivores that eat other fish to survive, and their fins are poisonous. Some species are sandy in color, but others are colorful and blend into the surrounding coral. Cuttlefish have small structures filled with colored ink that form different patterns and textures that make them look like coral or algae. The ink helps them hide from predators and can be used to attack creatures that get too close. Can you spot the crab? The decorator crab is a master of disguise. This tricky crustacean attaches other sea creatures like algae, anemones, and sponges to its body as camouflage. Copperhead snakes are responsible for the largest number of snake bites per year in the United States because they're so good at hiding. These poisonous snakes have patterned scales and shades of brown. They can be found almost anywhere and like to hide among rocks, dried leaves, wood piles, and in gardens. You might not think the king of the jungle needs to hide from anyone, but lions use camouflage to help them hunt and catch their prey. Their light brown fur easily blends into the stalks of grass while they hunt for food. Glossary. A glossary, remember, is a text feature in nonfiction books. The purpose of a glossary is to help the reader understand important words used in the text that are related to the topic. Aquarium, a glass tank where fish are held or a place where visitors can see different types of underwater creatures. Camouflage, a disguise used for blending in or hiding. Carnivore, an animal that eats meat. Coral, an underwater creature that has a stony skeleton and lives in colonies. Crustacean, a sea creature that has an outer skeleton. Predator, an animal that hunts other animals for food. Prey, an animal that is hunted by others animals for food. Species, one of the groups into which plants and animals are divided. Did you find all the animals? You can go back to the pages and check. All right, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's book. See you next time.